Hi my beauties and welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to recreate this makeup look for you guys and this was the makeup that I wore for a daytime office party and I did wanted I didn't wanted a lot of makeup going on my eyes but still I wanted something so I did created this like a blue uh, wing and over the top with a wing liner and very subtle red lips so if you people want to see how I got this look then please keep on watching and do not forget to hit that thumbs up button in the bottom bar and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to make sure that you people know what is coming in the near future for you all and now let's just jump into the tutorial so starting off with the foundation uh, which for which I am using my Lakme Absolute Smooth Finish, Finish Foundation and I am in the shade Golden and I am tapping it all over my face with the help of my finger and currently I am searching for my beauty blender as you saw and I am blending it all out. I personally love this foundation a lot and I don't feel that there is a need of a beauty blender while blending it throughout your face but still I had to do that because I love the finish that my beauty blender provides and I did have some foundation on my hair which I just cleaned up and with that my foundation is being done now I am taking my NYX HD concealer and I am applying it onto the usual areas where I love to apply it this, is the, this was the first time that I used this concealer and I personally felt how uh, gorgeously it blends how beautiful this concealer is so I have applied it in a triangular shape under my eyes on my chin around my mouth on my cupid's bow on my forehead and down the bridge of my nose and I'm blending it with my damn beauty blender and you people don't sincerely need anything but your fingers to blend it out if you people feel like this is a heaven a dream, dream to be blended like it didn't take a lot of work for me to blend it out now taking my NYX wonder stick I am going to take the contouring part of the same and I am trying to uh, first of all I did try to pop out under my lips because I wanted them to look a bit fuller and I did wanted to share with you guys exactly what I did so this was what I did so I uh, just showed you guys right here so I have one to uh, I have I have applied the stick to the areas where I usually love to contour that is my cheekbones on my forehead and uh, my nose my nose contour is like a compulsion for me my jawline because it was a daytime party so there were so many pictures around lined up to be clicked and if you people want me to share the pictures then do let me know in the comments below and I'd love to share it with you all and here you can see me blending my nose contour with the help of a small rounded blending brush this one is by faces now taking my damn beauty blender i am setting all of that out now taking my la girl go glam palette i am taking the bronzing shade on a fluffy uh, contour uh, contouring brush and i am applying it i am actually setting all the areas that i did uh, apply that uh, cream contour on just to make sure that my contouring didn't bust throughout the day and so so is what i am doing right here i am contouring my nose like i'm setting the contour of my nose and i did it earlier on my cupid's bow and on my mouth and again taking my damn beauty blender i am setting everything in place this is one of the most essential things to be done by me but i personally feel here you can see me using my la girls pro hd powder I am using it to set all the places that I did concealed earlier and I personally don't find nowadays a need of a full coverage uh, compact powder for setting because it swindles. Now taking the highlighting shade from the same palette I am popping it onto the tops of my cheeks on my forehead down the bridge of my nose and I wanted my nose to be really highlighted on my cupid's bow and on my chin. And I'm blending it all out, making sure it all looks seamless. Now, because it was a daytime look, I did select the lighter pink shade from the same palette, and I'm blending my contour and my highlighter with the help of the blusher. And that's pretty much it. My base makeup is done. So I'm taking my LA Girls Pro Setting Spray, and I'm spreading, 
spraying it onto my face and then pushing the product in with the help of my beauty blender this will help my uh, what you call the base makeup to be lasting longer and now here you can see me applying my uh, primer eyeshadow primer and i have taped my eyes for this for this look and i am i am taking my the balm nude mattes palette and i have applied the matte sing shade all over my eyelid now taking the matte gracia shade i am applying it onto the crease and because i am not going to use way too much of a color on the eyelid so i just brought that same color down to my lid as well making sure that my eyes don't look that flat just a brown shade was more than enough now taking this beautiful palette from freedom pro i am going to take that lighter blue shade and now you can see me creating the star of the show that is the wing i have applied the tape so i can you know roughly draw a wing around uh, around the perimeters of my eyes like you don't want the blue to go anywhere else apart from the outer v of your eye and not into the inside the eye or crease now taking a deeper blue color like so i am applying it over the lighter blue that i did earlier because this helps you create a gradient like it's not going to go all the way base where i did apply the blue one but still it's going to you know i don't know how to say that it's going to just brighten up everything like darken up everything on the face on the wing because i felt like that blue was wasn't, wasn't showing up that well so i thought of you know darkening it up a little bit and now you can see me removing the tape and do not forget to uh, apply the tape on the back of your hand before you know doing uh, it onto your face because it's going to create lines on your face and uh, now here you can see me blending all of that out i am applying the highlighting shade from the same palette that is the freedom pro one to make sure that at least i have something going on now taking Uh, the deepest brown shade from the same the balm made matte palette i am filling it into my brows and i have used a uh, gel products for my brows i have used like uh, you know wax products for my brows as well but nothing works better than a uh, you know short eye shadow or a powder product for my eyebrows that is what i personally feel and i love doing this you know applying my uh, brow product and then you know using the spoolie to set it out now here you can see me creating my wing liner and it always takes me ages to draw the another part of my like eye liner like lining my left eye for me is really tough because i haven't still got a hang of it if you guys know me uh, for a longer period of time then you guys might know this fact for well that i still face troubles in creating my wing liner Now, for my eyelashes, I am using Ardell's One Zero Seven lashes. Before doing that, I am applying my Maybelline's Last Sensational Mascara onto my eyelashes, making sure that they actually do pop. And this mascara is amazing, you guys. Now I know how what all the buzz was was about. Like everyone was crazy for this mascara, and now I know why they were. Now I am taking my uh, Maybelline Vivid and Smooth Eyeliner in the shade Ocean, and I'm applying it onto my lower lash line, making sure that uh, they don't look extremely black because I didn't wanted that because it was a daytime look. And now here you can see me doing the another coat, like the second coat of my mascara, and I poured it into my eye. And with the power of editing. I didn't took a lot of time of yours and did applied my <laughs> eyelashes and here you can see me lining my lips with the help of my Maybelline's Last Sensational Lip Liner and this is a very subtle beautiful uh, red lip uh, lip liner and could be used as a lipstick as itself but I didn't did that I did went ahead with my Revel Revlon's lipstick and I did topped it off with it. and this is even a very subtle shade and a combination of these two was amazing i loved it and this is how the look turned out i hope you all have enjoyed this and if you did then please don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel 
and i'll see you guys in my next video till then take care bye